Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in learning how you can significantly enhance the level of passion you feel with a man, that's what we will cover in today's episode. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of Get the Love You Crave. So excited today because I'm going to be sharing how to not just increase passion with a man, but also sustain it. I connect to a lot of women who are either in relationships that are flatlining or who are so afraid of committing to a guy because they feel if I commit to this man, I'm going to stop feeling this rush of energy, aliveness, excitement, passion, fulfillment that I feel initially. So they become serial monogamists. They connect to a guy, they feel the intensity, they suck the life out of a relationship and then they move into the next one. And the thing with that process is that it feels after a while very alone and very empty because you feel excitement but you stop feeling it. So here's a way to not have to move from relationship to relationship to feel that and to create it on your own. The first way to foster excitement and passion in a relationship is to really foster in your partner that he goes for his dreams and he goes out into the world and does the things he loves most. Now it's important to spend time together to create that bond and that connection and that love. It's incredibly important to spend time apart as well. Those couples who want to spend so much time together that they don't have the vision of being able to see their partner from a distance, the, the level of desire decreases significantly because desire is increased when you have a longing for someone. And when you have a longing for someone, that typically is enhanced when that person is doing something they love most and you can go into the world and do something you love most and you can reunite and after spending some time apart, you can feel that sense of longing and also the renewed energy that comes from doing something that you're passionate about. Now, you can invite your partner into the thing you're doing, but if you take some time apart and relish it instead of saying, oh my God, my partner is doing something else, that's going to magnify the beauty and the passion of your relationship, not lessen it. So foster this in your partner and do it yourself as well because passion is created by two human beings who are passionate in their own lives. It's impossible to feel passionate if your life becomes a relationship, okay? Number two thing that is going to help you enhance the level of passion is reconnect to the fragility of life and the fragility of the relationship. It's very common for you to connect with someone and spend so much time with them that you start taking them for granted. You stop knowing that at any moment in time, some fate of luck, life itself, a decision can end things and can change things. So if you treat your partner, you treat your guy, not for feeling scared, but for being real as a loner instead of something that's given to you and that you have to keep there for life. If you know the guy is a loner from God or the universe, then you will cherish and treat that human being with a lot more enthusiasm, a lot more caring, and that will deepen and significantly enhance the time you can spend together, but not in a flatlining state, in a, in a state of excitement and passion, okay? Third one seems like an oxymoron, but it's so powerful and so important, and that is plan spontaneity. Yes, you heard me right. Plan spontaneity seems like it's a contradiction, but it's not. Here's why, because the more time you spend with someone, when you connect with someone, you really want to feel excited, but you also want to start feeling love, appreciation, you want to feel security, you want to feel belonging, you want to feel a sense of being at home with someone, and those feelings, okay, create this level of certainty. The more certainty you have, the less you're bound to do something that breaks the norm because it feels so damn good to feel that way. Now, the challenge when you just feel certain in a relationship is that spark and that aliveness starts fading. So planning spontaneity means that you're going to take it upon yourself to not just have the guy surprise you, and it doesn't mean you have to surprise him with gifts, but surprise him in some way. You can surprise him with your energy. You can surprise him by asking a question that you've never asked anyone in your life and do it with enthusiasm and passion. You can do it by taking off your underwear and letting him know when you're walking down the street that you're not wearing underwear and surprise him that way. You can do anything you want that's unexpected. Unexpected creates passion. And if you make it a habit to do something unexpected, every now and then, or at least five times a week, or four times a week for your partner, then you're always maintaining that spark, and he's going to be encouraged to do the same thing. And then this amazing thing happens, which is playfulness in the relationship, without which there is no passion, okay? And the last one, okay, the last key, if you really want to sustain this level of aliveness and passion, is to speak your truth with attachment. And here's why this is so important. Because I see so many women, and I connect with a lot of women who are starting, they connect to a guy, I help them connect to the guy, and then the passion starts getting lost, sometimes because they experience a level of pain with a guy. Let's say the guy does something douchebaggy, coining a word here, or dickish, <laughs> coining another word here. Okay, the guy does something shady, 
and she doesn't express the way she feels or she simply just reacts with anger with what she's really feeling is being upset or being sad or being lonely or being disappointed, when she doesn't express her needs, she, she has to, as a survival mechanism, start closing her heart to not experience pain. But here's the shitty thing when that, when that happens, when you close your heart to experience pain, you can't shut the valve of water, basically just for hot water, you, hold, you close it for both. If you, you do this thing on the street, you close the valve for water in your house, the both hot and cold water are going to be shut down. So when you shut down this emotional pain from your heart, because it's too unpleasant, you close the aliveness, the passion, the excitement, the spontaneity and the flow on the upper end as well. And the more you do this, the more you condition yourself to live in a state that's boring. So the key to breaking free from this is whenever you start feeling like your heart is starting to close, instead of closing it deeper and pushing down your emotions, is being willing to express your truth and know that sometimes the speaking your truth doesn't mean things are going to change. Sometimes in a relationship, my friend, there's going to things, there are going to be things you hate about your partner and he's never going to change. <laughs> Flash news here, right? And there's things that he's going to hate about you that you're never going to change. Now, if those things that you hate about him are non-negotiables for you, or are things that are very hurtful, you need to make a decision in terms of moving on or changing the relationship in some way, okay? But speaking your truth without attachment means that you're going to say what you want and what you mean, knowing that if you stop doing that, you will lose passion. If you lose passion, the likelihood that the relationship is going to end in some time is very, very real, okay? So if you're afraid of, if I speak my truth, he's going to stop loving me, guess what? If you stop being passionate with him, he might stop loving you as well. So you might as well do it in a way that's meaningful to you. Now, if this makes sense to you, if you find this exciting, powerful, helpful, I'm going to invite you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video right now, subscribe to my channel, and most important of all, I want you to underneath uh, on the comment section, I'm gonna show on the description of the video, I'm gonna show a link that you can subscribe to to get on my list and also get a three-part video series that shows you how to connect them out of your dreams in nine days or less. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Write me a comment, ask me any question you want, and I look forward to connecting with you <laughs> very soon.